thing about Berta Rita in this opera is that whilst he's a hero, we tend to think of Handel's heroes as being warriors. And Berta Rita is, is a sort of warrior, but he doesn't start the opera. Um, he enters about half an hour in, and the opera kind of restarts. He's thought to be dead, and so his first entrance is him really coming across his own obituary. And there's this very gothic, minor... Um, kind of mini overture for Berta Rido. It's like Handel saying, we've, we've, we've told one story, but I'm now going to throw in um, this spanner into the works, which he's not dead, and here he is. And, and after that, he sings this utterly beautiful aria, Dove Sei, which um, is one of those arias that Handel wrote, which, which stayed sort of um, celebrated. In the Victorian age, there was, it was sort of played in homes under the under the title Art Thou Troubled. And um, it's, it's one of my favourite arias to sing, but it's, it's utterly beautiful. And what's striking about this and many of Berterito's arias in this piece is that he doesn't do the heroic thing of singing in a kind of um, uh, square metres. It's, it's, he's, it's in three. He does 12-8. He does these, not so much dance, but it's, it's, there's something soulful about what he does. And I think that's reflected very well because the, in, in the character, which he's saying he's prepared to forgive his enemies if, if only he can have his family. He's coming back to take his family and just go. He doesn't want any kind of battles. He doesn't want any wars. He doesn't want any um, retribution. He just wants to get his family, and, and that's what matters to him. And I think that's a really interesting thing, that the first thing he does is discover he's actually thought to be dead, and it makes him reassess what what mattered and what didn't matter. Mm -hmm.